All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Crappy Off Brands. Today, we'll begin down here with Walked Right By Them, but my girlfriend pointed it out. Superm! I do love me some superm lunch boxes. That one's probably cease and desistable, actually. A lot of the ones on here are like such a joke, I don't think it'd matter. This is, it's a little bit too close. Good old, good old su superm. I still, I don't fully understand like the culture around Supreme. I've, to be fair, never visited a shop that sells it, but it just, I don't know, is there something more to it other than just that logo? Is it super high quality products? I just, I'm unfamiliar. I guess it's just kind of a different culture around the product, and I, when it comes to clothing, have always been like, just kind of Target t-shirts and, and sweatpants and gym shorts kind of person. Don't get me wrong, I splurge in other categories, but uh, just not when it comes to clothing, is all. Hey guys, what's your favorite Pokemon? Here's mine. Pokemon Glaup. Is that, is that that screenshot from Dexter's Laboratory? Did Dexter once turn himself into a sandwich in Dexter's Lab? Now I'm trying to go back through the catalog of Dexter's Lab episodes in my head and try to remember when he might have turned himself into a sandwich. It's a Pokemon slash Dexter's Laboratory mashup. Damn, what a game, dude. You've got to work your way through Dexter's Laboratory and you've got to fend off against Dee Dee, who's trying to capture all the Pokemon running around your laboratory. So I got to pronounce it right, laboratory. And uh, and then you just have to catch more Pokemon than Dee Dee. It'd be a hell of a game. It really would. One where it doesn't exist. Or does it? Glaup. MySpace. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> Why isn't this like the top of all time? How did I? Why in creating a a Minecraft lit? You managed to just it's how you. Oh my god! I'm at a loss for words. How many different brands can we attempt to knock off in one single product? All right, we have a tech company, MySpace. Check. We got Minecraft with. The straight out is that's just the creeper face right there. That's the actual A from Minecraft and the actual M. We got the zombie. We got Lego. We've got an actual screenshot from Minecraft in the background. <laughs> it's it's like on a whole new level. Also, but why MySpace? Why? Of all the things you could have chosen, why MySpace? I don't get it. I really want to, I want to hear your justification, but I'll never get it. And forevermore, I'm going to be wondering why you chose MySpace. Fat guy family. A comfortable fat guy underwear. <laughs> hey man, if Peter Griffin's uh, long lost brother is comfortable in these underwear, then I'm sure you will be too. Is that, is that a direct translation of what's above? Because if you're calling the person who's actually 6XL, that's, that's significant. I don't think I've ever even seen 6XL. <laughs> I don't know, man. It seems a little rude to just straight up say fat guy underwear, but if it's working for you in your branding, then all right. You stick with your approach. All right, on to the next one. Karate Farmer. Star Wars years. It's just... Uh, you tried to make a pun where a pun just couldn't really be made. Warriors, Wars Years... No, Wars Years, it doesn't work. Like, even sometimes my puns that I make, they're a little bit of a stretch, but... Mm, no. I like the I like the text just right on the top. Just as a matter of fact, in case you weren't aware, galaxies are quite far, far away. I mean, we're in the Milky Way, but the other ones out there, there are a lot of galaxies out there, but they're pretty far, far away. Just, we just want to let you know. We're giving you some scientific facts to go along with the knockoff, terrible pun product. Also, I like how you just stuck a human face on Yoda. That's your knockoff. You're like, let's just, we'll take Yoda, all right? But if we just stick a person's face on it, so it's creepy as hell, then we can't get, you know, cease and desisted for it. Also, we'll just call it Wise Puppet. And, I mean, Yoda was a puppet. It's practical effect, so in fairness, that's accurate. Well, my boyfriend got me this for Christmas. Dude, I love it! The last time I did a video on this subreddit, I said, 
This is the best list for last minute Christmas gifts for anyone who needs some last minute Christmas gifts. Check it out. Here's a subreddit for you. And it actually worked. Fivel, Fancity, uh, you don't, you don't do XVV. It would be, it would be XX. Why did you do XVV? That's not how it, it's not how Roman numerals work. Like, you, and then it's, it's just, I, well, it took me a moment to notice the Millennium Falcon right in the background there. Right, right, okay, that's, yep, okie dokie. You spelled it wrong, you got the Roman numerals wrong, you put some Star Wars in there, just, just this is overwhelming. It's kind of like MySpace. I don't, wow, wow, it's really impressive, genuinely impressive. Anyone want a drink of Dr. Bob? Dude. I love Dr. Bob and Mountain Shouten. I bet you this this totally sounds like just the the store brand sodas that you can buy. I bet you if I walked into, I don't know, like a, a Vons or a Ralph's somewhere nearby, I'd probably find something pretty similar to this. Cause it it really it gets the point across, right? You know what you know what they've knocked off when they're saying Dr. Bob. Except Dr. Pepper can't really they can't go after someone for naming a soda Dr. Bob, right? Just because it's it's the same color scheme as Diet Dr. Pepper, it doesn't it doesn't really look close enough. But you know what you're getting. It's a really effective strategy, actually, and I bet you this is half the price of Diet Dr. Pepper. So you're like, hey, it's gonna taste pretty much the same. I'm just Dr. Bob, why not? Mountain shouting, yeah, it's gonna taste like Mountain Dew. But it'd be half the price. It's not bad. It's not a bad approach. South Park lookalikes, magic hockey. I, <laughs> right, that air coming up through the table. Very magical, impossible to explain. A phenomena that is beyond science. You'll never know how that puck glides along. And also, also they kind of, it's just, you know, well, let's throw some, some dudes on who kind of look South Parkish. I think that honestly, it reduces the value the value proposition, the brand value of your table, having things that just look like knockoff characters when you could have made your own original looking characters and then it would have been, you could have taken pride in what you made. The creamiest betweens you'll ever see. Cream betweens, chocolate sandwich cookies. Once again, probably could find something very similar to this. I don't know if they'd be called cream betweens, which has some connotations to it, which are a little bit, I don't know. Uh, ambiguous and um, but I bet you you know went to a grocery store nearby could probably find something similar tastes like Oreos half the price why not it's just gonna be in my stomach it's not something I have to look at on a daily basis it's gonna taste it's gonna taste good then yeah for sure bootleg Woody found in Egypt he's been working out damn Woody you uh, he's hit the squat so hard that he's actually uh, compressed his entire body. Damn, dude. You're getting shredded, but you might want to look into one of those, like, hang-up things so you can, I don't know, extend your spine a little bit, because it looks like you've basically been sandwiched, but still respectable. I'm sure he's shredding multiple times his body weight on those squats. Like, dude's killing it at the gym. Look at those, look at those guns. Woody doesn't carry any external. He doesn't carry any Smith & Wesson guns. He's, he's got some real guns over here. Damn, dog. I'm envious. New Adidas sneakers. AIDS. This is impressive that we've got a spot in the wild here. Damn. Usually it's just pictures of ads online, but you straight up, you're wearing shoes that say AIDS on them. I want to know what country this is. It's got to be a place where Latin characters are not widely used because in fairness if there was a major Japanese brand I probably would have a hard time recognizing the difference between Japanese characters same with Chinese characters etc etc and so I may very well if, if I were interested in purchasing that product I may accidentally purchase a knockoff that said AIDS on it but I didn't know because I can't read those characters so maybe that's what happened here I'm trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt Star World Star World figure case. That is, wow. It's pretty much Darth Vader meets, like if Darth Vader was inserted into the Wizard of Oz and same with C-3PO 
and Chewbacca. I'm pretty sure this is exists like <laughs> that's the Tin Man. This is goddamn bizarre, dude. What the hell? It's the star, the Star Wizard of Oz. Jesus Christ, it's kind of it's kind of interesting and horrifying simultaneously. If you just cropped this out and posted it as a piece of art somewhere, I'd kind of be admirable. You'd be like Star Wars crossover Wizard of Oz, and people would be like, yeah, that's, huh. But now it's just weird, put on the product like this. Slash Planet of the Apes as well. I don't, yeah, all right, Tin Man. They're not the sharpest tools in the shed. <clears throat> what has happened to Donkey? It looks like he sniffed a little bit too much glue or something. Good God. And Shrek, wow. If your goal was to try to attract children to like a playground or something, I think you've attracted the opposite. Like no one, I would be horrified. If I stumbled upon that scene in the middle of the night, I would probably have a heart attack. And maybe that's the goal. Is this person just wants people to faint and then he like abducts them, whoever put this up. Or maybe they really tried their hardest at an art project and it just didn't turn out the way anyone had envisioned. I'm sorry if someone really passionately tried to make this. I don't mean to be insulting your work, but it's kind of terrifying. Well, anyway, watch out, Microsoft. Michael Bindos is coming. Michael Soft Bindos. Right. Right in, yes. Also with like the Windows 97 logo on it. Michael Soft Binbos, really, it's catching up to Microsoft, okay? Still about like 20 years behind, but they'll get there. Don't you worry, they've got a corner office and everything. But you see, do you see these 1990s PCs in here? Do you see them? We're only 20 years behind here, but we're accelerating rapidly, all right? It's gonna be the new wave of technology. Old is new. New marketing schemes. Microsoft bimbos, be on the lookout. Well, anyway, double the fiddling. World's smallest fiddle spinner. Okay, you don't even, a fidget spinner isn't even trademarked as far as I know. Or if it is, it's not enforced. Everyone just calls it a damn fidget spinner. It's not a brand. You wouldn't need to call it a fiddle spinner. This is unnecessary. Also, world's smallest? Like, who were, we're just making it more of a hazard for small children to choke on by making it tiny and bite-sized. I feel like there's, and then when you make it tiny, it's gonna lack the inertia that a larger one will have, so that I'm not proud. I'm not proud. Do you see the dust that's flying off of this? It's not very widely used, okay? But it doesn't have the inertia of a bigger one, so the physics won't even work very well, and you called it a fiddle spinner. Why? I don't understand why you did that. <sighs> I let my nephews download an off-brand Guitar Hero, and these are the songs they played. No talking about hate. Won't you gonna? Won't you gonna be his girl? Are you gonna go that way? Restfully numb. Day traveler. Thunderstorm. L.A. Rock Town. You know what? At least they're very consistent with their approach. Okay, everything is a crappy off-brand. The game itself all of the songs i hope that they're like re -lyri like the lyrics are written to just be slightly different than the originals and their covers obviously i give love a good name eyes of the lion eyes of the lion <laughs> oh boy hotel massachusetts massachusetts california it works syllable wise they're like, what other state has the same amount of syllables? Can't cease loving me. Oh boy, smoke on the lake. <laughs> oh boy, bitter child of us. <laughs> Our child's a goddamn sourpuss, always talks back. Really not as sweet as when it was a little baby and we made that first song on it. It's, things have soured over the last few years, all right? Now it's just that we're into the terrible twos. Goddamn bitter child to us. We should have never had it. Oh my God, brilliant. Who needs Linda from Bob's Burgers when you can have a supportive burger wife? 
Supportive burger wife, black flip wig and glasses costume set. Hey, one person is super happy about this. At least it is as advertised. And when they go to their Halloween party and someone asks, I am, I am supportive burger wife, okay? That is me. Don't question it. That's what I am. I like being supportive, all right? That's why this costume was, was right for me. I haven't watched Bob Burger, Bob's Burgers. I've only actually watched the crossover Archer episode because it's the same, the guy, uh, H. John Benjamin does the voice, and so they did a, a, cro a funny crossover thing, which probably would have been more effective had I watched Bob's Burgers, but in any case. My favorite franchise, Alan, in space. Nobody can hear you in space. <laughs> what? Uh... I hope whoever is wearing this is named Alan. Damn, dude. I, I kind of want my name to be Alan. The the only Alan that comes to mind is the the producer Alan Walker. You could make a shirt like this. This is Alan, and then something about in space. You can't walk so good. You can't walk her so good. I don't know. That was a bad pun, but not as bad as this as a whole. In space, nobody can hear you. In space, it's just it's like when you mistype a text message, but they were like, ah, we don't need to fix it. Straight to the printer. Also, let's use the original image from Alien, because, yeah. All right, well, anyway, that was the last month for Crappy Off Brands. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you like. Check the playlist in the description if you want to catch up on any past videos of the Reddit stuff. Subscribe if you're not already. And uh, if you want to listen to the music playing in the background, it's linked in the outro over on Mirror Music. I'll see you next time. Oh